I am Sravana and welcome back to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see the most frequently asked Spark interview question which is Spark versus MapReduce. So before starting with the differences, let us see what is Spark. Spark is an open source framework and it does in-memory computation. In-memory computation means the computation will be happen in, in the RAM, RAM of the each worker node. Actually, it is a general purpose, very fast and general purpose engine, engine which can process the data very quickly and it allows streaming process. Streaming process means Spark can read the real time data and it has multiple APIs, APIs like Spark Core. Spark SQL, Spark Streaming, Spark Machine Learning and Spark Graphs. So this is the definition of Spark you can give in your interview. Next coming to the MapReduce. So you can answer this when, it, when you ask like uh, what is uh, the MapReduce. So Ma MapReduce MR is core component of Hadoop which is used for processing larger volumes of data. MapReduce has as the name itself suggests that the similar way it has mapper phase and reduce phase in between it has sort and shuffle phases. What it will do is if you are giving a job as input to the MapReduce first it will divide the tasks as input splits. This is internally, internal to Hadoop, okay. You do not have to do anything externally for this, but internally what it will happen is each task will be divided into input splits and the number of inputs, input splits are there, those number of map, mappers will be generated and these mappers will perform some computation, it will, it will feed that output data to certain shuffle phases. After that, the next step is the reduce phase. So, mapper will generate, mapper and certain shuffle phases will generate some key value pairs. So, reduce phase will combine them and it will send the data to the driver. The data in essence, the resultant data to the driver. So, this is what map reduce does. So, in the previous video also, we have seen like what is the main advantage of Spark and what are the disadvantages of Hadoop, right? So now we will see what are the limitations of MapReduce, like why we need to use the Spark. So first one is batch processing. This using the MapReduce, we can do batch processing only, means we can read the history data alone. History data means the data is stored somewhere in a file or location. You, you can read that and you can process the data using MapReduce, okay? And then second one is disk based processing. If you are giving some instructions to, the, to a MapReduce program, then the intermediate results will be sent back to the disk and the communication will happen back and forth for the disk and the nodes. Because of this, you, you will see that the, the so overall job duration will be very high and high latency. High latency means how much data you can read at a time. So because it's a history data, you can read high volume of data only. So because of this, Hadoop is suitable for reading high latency data, okay? And iterative processing means any iterative things like which is repetitively you have to do some recursion kind of process, then map reduce is not the correct one. Okay, it will take lot of time per, for performing that iterative processing. And next one is technical dependency. Technical dependency on like only Java developers can use map reduce and even the lines of code also very I mean lot of lines of code you have to write for mapper separately reducer separately and shuffle and sort for each phase you have to write the code separately and only using java okay and next one is low throughput 
so using because of all these limitations someone has thought about spark they have implemented and now we have it okay so next one we will see advantages of spark in map reduce we, when we say batch processing right so what about spark can it do batch, batch processing yes it can do batch processing and also it can read the real time data as well real time data as in we have to mention the latency like how much how after for uh, for how what is the duration for how what is the duration of the time you want to read the data is it for every microsecond uh, or every 3 minute 3 seconds or 3 microseconds or is it for 1 minute or is it for 2 minutes or is it for 3 minutes if you mention the duration for which you need to read the data in the configuration based on that spark will read the data and it will process in the same speed okay so we say that this is an advantage because because of this streaming processing can be done using spark which means that it can process real time data and it can perform the OLTP transactions as well next one is in memory computing in memory processing or in memory computing means spark will cache the like the processing and it will perform the computing in the ram because of that the network bandwidth and disk six are very less because of that this spark job duration is very less it will complete the job very quickly and we can say spark is 100 times faster than map reduce lazy evaluation so this is one of the main advantage of spark why because it will evaluate the transformations lazily so that unnecessarily we will not be engaging any memory we will use the memory only when it is required or when any action is triggered okay next low latency as this is meant for streaming processing as well which means we will read the data for very less duration of time which means one minute or one microsecond two microseconds or anything okay so which means that even we can read the low latency data for example if you have to read some history data and you just have to write some queries to get some outcome you can go for Hadoop but whereas if you wanted to uh, read some low latency or real time data you have to do low I mean, I mean it's a larger volumes of data and if you wanted to do the processing very quickly then we can go for spark and the APIs the APIs like even the SQL developers can use spark even that uh, like it is uh, it has spark streaming spark machine learning and spark graphs so all these uh, APIs are embedded within the spark core so it is very useful for any kind of developers like any technology developers can easily understand and start using spark next one is polyglot means spark is an engine as we discussed so which means that it has some set of computations are already present you just have to utilize it for uh, utilizing the advantages of spark you can write the code in either python scala java or r language okay so you can use all these things and also spark sql will allow you to write sql queries as well so that's why we mentioned here as polyglot is one of the major advantages of spark so with this now we will say that okay this is what is spark this is what is map reduce then what is the conclusion when we say right this is this here i am mainly explaining like how to answer in the interviews okay so when someone asks you about this question you can just say that spark is 100 percent faster than map reduce because it's it does in memory computation and it allows both batch processing and streaming process whereas 
MapReduce will support only the batch processing. Okay, these are the main two things you can say. And third one is the disk based processing in MR, which is leading to uh, like a lot of time time taking process for MapReduce. But whereas due to the in memory processing, Spark jobs are very quicker. And also, Spark has the advantages of RDDs, data frames, and DATs, DAG, that we will discuss in future videos, very detailed discussion about all these things. But this video is intentionally created for the interviews. That's why I am not explaining anything. But this, if you answer these points, then it is very enough for the interviews. Okay, I hope you got the points, friends. Thank you for watching the video, friends. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.